to my office. Today I went to interview Anna Levy. Levy. Levy? Levy. No one <laughs> knows how to pronounce her last name. No it's one right, does. It's alright, it's alright, And I, I went to... And also her manager, Mr. Barlow. Um, to, to ask her about her new album, uh, Dogs of December. Let's, let's go to her now. Uh, well, Dogs of December is my favourite album so far. Um, it's, as you can see, see it, well, here, per se, it is all about dogs in December. Yeah, it was a, it, it was a unique concept, yes. I think. Yes. Um, actually, Mr Barlow helped me come up with the idea. <laughs> Some of your critics have questioned the gratuitous swearing. Uh, yes, I'm <laughs> what has been sold? Are you okay? I'm so sorry. My my wife died recently. <laughs> you have no fucking right to say that to me. My swearing is not gratuitous right. at all. No, we have we have legitimate reasons for that, and we think it's it's rather art than uh, than anything else. It's not gratuitous. No, it has deep meaning to it. And swearing if, uh, has deep meaning to yeah. me. And, and and if and if and if parents don't want <laughs> their child uh, to be subjected to uh, lots lots of swearing, they shouldn't let them buy the album. Really, that's no. just the. Uh, no, but everyone should buy the album. It is a beautiful album. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. It's uh, every person, young and old. Yeah. yeah. Now, now, European. now, in 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 the in the in the fifth uh, single on the track, uh, White Christmas. There's a line that goes. You're such a fucking dodger. I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna kill you. Oh look, you're dead. <laughs> now that is one of my favourites. Now yeah, I remember, I uh, now one 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 of your one of your uh, best friends died recently, and you were you were heavily involved in that case before uh, it was decided uh, that you had a secure alibi. Uh, but some people have questioned the the relevance of this lyric in relate in relation to that. Oh, that is complete and utter bullshit. I'll have yeah. you know. We uh, we have talked to the press about this before, and I don't think we need a rehashing of that. Uh, no. Now uh, my. Uh, it's a very sensitive yeah. topic to me. That bloody fucking. <laughs> my client uh, is is very very uh, emotional about this, but also yeah. entirely innocent. The lyric has deep personal meaning to her. Now, your boyfriend Troy, uh, is it true that he's not in fact American, as he claims he is? He is completely and utterly American, isn't that right, Mr. Barlow? Never I never liked him. <laughs> I mean, yes, he is American, he's everything he claims to be, he's not a total fuckwit. Thank you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Troy, um, he's very. Special to me. Um, uh, the allegations of a breakup are entirely false. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Entirely. False. Now, no one's actually seen Troy for the past three weeks. So, uh, can can you give us a reassuring message for the fans back home? But Troy is completely. Troy fine. is alive and well and not in my basement. He is completely fine. Um, you will get a letter from him. Um, yes, he's, he's ill, and you will get a letter from him on the 25th of November next year. <laughs> Accompanied by his new film. That's nearly a year away. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. So, what's with your new fashion style? Because uh, before now, before this album release, uh, you used to walk around almost entirely naked, and now nearly every inch of your body is covered. Uh, is there any reason for this? I don't want others to see my body anymore. It, it's covered completely in scales, and she's very shy about that. It is. It, it's, it's an embarrassing problem for me. Besides, scarves are in. Yeah. Yeah. That's uh, ma that's, that's one of the songs on the new album. Yes. Oh and yes. That also features dogs <laughs> on <in> Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> so, um, one one of one of your one of the songs on the album is called "My Dead Cat Is Dead," but the song's lyrics appear to be completely unrelated to that. In fact, and I quote, "Why can't the rain rain on my parade? Rain, rain, go away." <laughs> <laughs> well, um, it was raining on the day of my cat's death. On the day of my cat's death. He's very emotional about it. <laughs> it's okay, hon. It's okay. Yes, um, 
We'd rather not be questioned about that, thank you. Alright, now you, you used to be in a duo, in fact, with, um, with uh, Ray Peggledry. Oh yes, Ray. Yes. Before Ray mysteriously Ray. disappeared last, Ma Ray. last May. Ray well, yeah. wasn't a very nice person. No, well, I remember he was always at odds with his manager. Who Which was you at the time, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Uh, and we were always at odds. And I eventually just had to uh, drop him uh, as, a, as a client. Um, yeah. Which has nothing to do with his mysterious fault. No, or my, the up in my career whatsoever. Nothing. Now, um, you're considered to, you are apparently one of the richest people in the world with a staggering three trillion US dollars to your name. Um, this is, this is surprising because until, uh, until last November, which was last month, you had exactly three dollars in your bank account. Um, can you tell us how exactly you got so rich? Because you weren't a very successful artist until, in well, fact, November. Well, my fans, my fans of course, they supported me in my time of need yes. when I was very poor and that, I, I won't lie, it had a little to do with her uh, first marriage to the uh, elderly trillionaire who then mysteriously died a week later. A little to do with that, but mostly I think it's due to our hard work and, and diligence. Poor yeah. Mr. Bottom. Yes, yeah, that's uh, <clears throat> they were in love. It's very sad. Sorry, I can't hear you. I said, um, uh, what weren't you? Yes, you married. Sorry, I, I am terribly sorry. I've lost all my notes. <laughs> um, <laughs> It must be because we're in a pool. <laughs> um, so yes, uh, I want to ask about that. You married, you married Mr. Bolton, Bolton whilst Moore. what? Bolton. Oh yes, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of High School Musical. Um, whilst whilst still going out with with Troy. Uh, <laughs> Troy Bolton? No, Troy, her boyfriend. Oh okay. Oh yeah. Um, it, some people are curious whether you're uh, polyamorous or whether. Are uh, you one in fact whether you and Troy were on a break it when you married Mr. Bolton and we were, Baltimore? We were still dating at the time, but it was difficult. Troy was a very jealous lover. Yeah, yeah, he was. Uh, I had to take him away for a holiday for a while so that they uh, they could get married. Yes. Uh, and we uh, had a lot of fun yeah, on that holiday. But then uh, he decided to come back. Yes. Um, and by that time. My, my husband had died, yes. and That's me true. and Troy could have a proper relationship yep. now. Troy went back to her, um, except like I wanted. Troy, um, I love him very dearly, and I wish he was here now. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Snow was a happy day when Troy went back to you. Like snow in December, and the dogs barking. My Troy, my yep. lover. Well, he came back from the holiday early, leaving me stranded in Barbados. That was that was a happy day. Now you're happy day for you too. Um, you're next going on a tour in Europe, and the tour will be called "I Wish Everybody Was a Fucking Dead Cunt." <laughs> oh. Yeah, well, we came up with that name. We were uh, oh. pretty sloshed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It was a fun night. That was uh, good. So good. Some people might find the wording a bit offensive. Oh, well, they can go fuck themselves. <laughs> They're Europeans! <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so you're going to um, France, uh, Italy, yeah. uh, Scotland, yes. Wales, yeah. but you're not going to Spain. You specifically said you were not visiting Spain. Was there, was there any reason for that? I had a terrible experience in my childhood there, and it had nothing to do with the fact that he is banned from Spain. <laughs> I'm not banned, alright, the police will just arrest me if I go back. And why is that? It's a public disturbance, public nudity. It was, it was a trumped up charge. Yeah. Uh, he only had a shirt off. Yeah. yeah. But I wasn't wearing any pants either. 
So, you know, but really trumped up, I think. Yeah. And, you know, they had no reason to arrest me, even though I did uh, <laughs> walk into a bank with a gun and, and threatened to shoot everyone in there. I had For no money. No, I just, I was gonna, I was gonna shoot them. I was, I was pretty crazy in my youth. Now, I heard you're writing your memoirs at 17. Uh, could, could we possibly have like a, a sneak peek of what? Your memoirs. Your memoirs. Uh, no, what I need you to do.